Hi, my name is John Park, and this is the first video log entry for my global learning project in TE 150. Um, so, some commonalities and differences between my partner and my high school education. Um, the first difference is that right off the bat, um, I was huge into sports. Uh, he didn't participate in sports really at all. But um, one big thing is that at my high school, we have stadiums for football, for baseball, for soccer, um, and we had a swimming pool for swim team. Um, and my partner, being from Tokyo in a very congested city, they had none of those things. Um, they had no pool, no stadiums. Um, so one cultural difference, actually. He said that only professional teams have stadiums. Um, colleges don't. High schools don't, so that's one difference I noticed between my my life and his. Um, another thing is that his high school experience consisted a lot more of club activities than mine did. Um, so he was actually on the, the climbing club at his school, and they went to all different mountains in Japan and climbed them. Um, he got up to the third highest mountain in Japan. Um, scaling all the rest to get there over a few days. So my school didn't offer any clubs like that. Um, not really anything of the sort. So I'm not sure if that's a cultural difference or just a difference in our high schools, but something I definitely noticed. Um, another thing is uh, my high school consisted in a lot of college prep, um, specifically for my degree, whereas his did not have anything to do with his degree. Um, right now I'm compu um, shooting for a computer science degree. Um, he is shooting for a, a film degree. And so in high school he didn't do anything film related. Um, whereas in, I, in my high school I did. Um, we had computer science classes offered. We had all different things to prep for the college curriculum. Um, and his was just general education. Um, so relating it back to the classroom, um, attribution theory is uh, a theory that we try to explain things based on generalizations we've noticed in our lives. Um, so there were a few things that when we were talking, I definitely uh, made assumptions when I shouldn't have. Um, one example is I kind of asked him some of the things he liked to do in his free time, and he said he liked to read comics. And so because he was from Japan, they have a huge... Um, stereotype or I guess influence in Japanese comics called manga and so I thought I asked if he was referring to manga and he said he meant American comics so that was one point where I stepped out of line I kind of had a preconceived notion of um, the things he was going to answer with and so when he said comics I immediately thought manga but it wasn't the case he was talking about American comics um, another thing is I probably thought he was watched anime when he said he watched cartoons, but it was, once again, American cartoons of superheroes or something like that. Um, that was also something we had in common. Um, I'm a huge MCU fan, um, and he was as well. So that was one similarity in our high schools. Um, that was right about the time when a lot of the movies were coming out. So that was something we related with um, through our high school years. Uh, looking at those movies as kind of like milestones or uh, just bearings to measure other events off of time-wise. Um, so some of the cultural differences I noticed between us um, was food for one. We went to a, a sushi place for our first meeting and so sushi originating in Japan I kind of had a very um, American version of sushi in my head of what it looks like so I kind of asked him what it was like in Japan, and it's just rice with a piece of fish on top, whereas Americans is, the fish is finally like chopped in the middle with a rice wrapped around it and it's like seaweed paper or something like that. So it was like a huge shock. I was kind of, I had a really hard time eating it first of all, <laughs> but it was just a, a very different experience. Um, yeah, his from the same thing. He hadn't tried American sushi before, and so we gave each other's cultures a try, and we both liked it, but 
we still prefer our original upbringing. Um, yeah, another cultural difference that we both noticed is that he's really used to having like everything close together, being uh, from Tokyo area. So everything is pretty well connected. And here where I'm from, I have to drive a lot of places or bus or something of the sort where his, he would walk mainly everywhere from building to building. Um, that kind of came up when we were talking about college campus here versus back in Tokyo. Um, so yeah, he said his high school was kind of the same way where it was like very tight, um, didn't take up a lot of space, but my high school was like very vast and it'd take a while to get from place to place. Um, I think that's just a cultural thing, not specific to high school, but just Tokyo versus really anywhere in the United States. There's plenty of room here, so driving is normally the method of transportation. Um, those are just a few things that I noticed culturally different. Um, but yeah, so as a reflection on the first meeting, um, I need to be more aware of the heuristics I have towards his culture um, and the assumptions that I make about them. Um, and I just have to be mindful and not make assumptions when I'm asking questions, otherwise they could be interpreted as offensive.